If you're a fan of photometrics or have access to DXF or DWG files that you wish you could use in Apex, you're going to love the new Apex CAD module. And don't let the name confuse you. Just because it involves CAD files, that doesn't mean Apex has suddenly become more difficult to use. In fact, it's quite the opposite, and you'll soon learn that you can use this module to create some pretty impressive sketches. In short, try to think of the CAD module as an enhanced photometrics of sorts. But before I begin, there are a couple of housekeeping items that you should know about. When you register your CAD module, you should see a CAD tab here in the ribbon bar. If you don't see it, go to the Help menu, go to Activate Modules, and it will access your online account to let you know how many licenses you have available. If you don't have any licenses, give us a call at this number and we'll get you set up with more. But if you do have licenses, then you should be able to select the CAD module from this list here. Mine's not selectable because mine's already registered. But in either case, once you select it, click on Submit, it will return the appropriate message. And once you click on Continue, you should see the CAD tab here on your ribbon bar. Now, if you're having trouble getting it registered or aren't seeing this tab available even though you've activated it, give us a call again at this number and we'll help you get it figured out. There are a couple other options that we need to take a look at that are related to the CAD module. They're under Tools, Configuration, and underneath the Drawing tab, you have an option here that talks about construction lines. Now, we'll learn a little bit more about what construction lines are, but for now, this option allows you to select them. And by default, this is not checked because we don't want you to inadvertently select construction lines when you meant to select a freeform line or a area line or something like that. But we do know that there are times that you do want to select a construction line. Maybe it's because you want to delete it or change it in some fashion. But this is where you'll come to turn this on when you need to. The next option is under the Data tab, and that is Save Construction Lines with File. Now, I like to have these on because you can always hide the construction lines if you need to. But this is most important when you have construction lines that you're using to build sketches from and you want to come back at a later time and pick up where you left off. If you don't have this checked and you save your file and it had the construction lines in it, those construction lines will be removed from the sketch and you won't be able to get back to them. So it's important that you have this option selected if you want to save the construction lines and come back to them at a later time. And that's all we needed to cover before we get started. Now it's time to talk about the CAD module itself. The CAD module is very simple to use and it starts with Insert Vector. When you choose this, it opens up your directories to let you choose from the DWGs and DXFs that you have available. Once you've chosen the file that you want to load, click on Open and it will display the Layer Control dialog. Now this control dialog has a lot to it and I need to cover these things here. The first thing is what you see and sometimes the DXFs and DWGs are a little hard to see because of the background colors and we have the ability to change those here. For this particular DWG I like the darker color because it makes the lines display a little bit better and certainly more clearly. But you also have the option to change the lines to grayscale or monochrome as well so that you can see them even better than that. So I like the grayscale and I like the dark background. But again, depending on the DWG or DXF that you have loaded, you may want to change these backgrounds so that it actually is easier to view. On the left side over here, you have a layout control. Now, this DWG doesn't have what we call model views in it. And if it did, then the views would be listed here. And what that is is multiple views that are contained within the DXF or DWG that you can bring into view, and they would be listed in this particular dropdown. So because this one doesn't have it, there are no layouts available. Just below that are the layers, and these layers themselves are what are typical within DWGs and DXFs because everything is added or drawn in a layer. Sometimes there will be one layer, sometimes there will be hundreds of layers. As I go through and I unselect these, you'll notice on the right side the different items that are associated with these layers start to hide from view. So I'm going through, I'm selecting all of these, 
and I'll select walls here and you'll see that most of them disappear. So that's a pretty important one uh, with regard to sketching. So I'm going to turn that back on. I don't really need plumbing. I don't really care for the windows. I don't really need the doors in there, but I might want to turn them back on later. Um, ceiling lines, stairs, uh, let's leave stairs in there. And let's uh, take out the room labels and let's keep going down. Let's take out that layer and let's go ahead and take out the rest. So all I have here in this entire list of layers that we have for this DWG, I only have walls and stairs selected. And that's all I need. So this is what I'm about to bring in to Apex. So now you have a select all and deselect all because if there are hundreds of layers that you have, then you're not going to want to click on every one of them. You might want to unselect them all and then go back and just choose the ones that uh, you need to have in view to, to be ported over. Your import options that you have here have to do with what's actually sent over. Do you want to uh, send over the text? Uh, in this case, there really is no text because we hid it from view, but do you want to import them as construction lines? Now, this is pretty important. If you import them as construction lines, that's the way they're going to be treated once they're imported. But if you don't import them, meaning you uncheck this, they are going to be imported as freeform lines. And there's a big difference between construction lines and freeform lines, and we'll cover that later in this video. But right now, let's go ahead and leave this on in terms of sending it over as construction lines. It's okay, there's a way to get around that uh, later on if you accidentally import them as freeform or if you import them as construction and you want them freeform. Just know that there's a way around that, but you have a choice here to bring them in. The unit of measure underneath is what was the unit of measure that this DXF or DWG was drawn in. You don't always know that, and sometimes you have to guess at it if you don't know what the unit of measure is. Most of the time, if they're your files or you know the individual that created these files, then you could probably gather that information. But as you go through, it's clear that it probably wasn't drawn in feet, because if we're looking at this residential property and going from here to here, it's not 400 feet. So it's a pretty good assumption that that wasn't drawn in feet. In fact, this one happens to be drawn in inches, and it's more representative of what it really needs to be, and the scale changes, and whatever it was drawn in is going to be converted to feet when you pull it over. So that's everything that you need to know about the layer control dialog and when you click on OK the sketch is pulled over. So now what you see is the sketch that was pulled over as construction lines. Now it's time to start drawing your sketch. Let's talk about that next. Okay we've loaded the DWG and we've passed it through the layer control dialog and now it's been imported into Apex and these are construction lines as we chose in the layer control dialog and construction lines you have a color to them that you can change and there's the default color and if you wanted to darken it up say I'm gonna make this gray here so that they show up a little bit more on this video uh, you can do that but these can be changed to anything that you want but just know that this is for display purposes. Uh, construction lines don't print, they don't come up in images, but they are there uh, to be used for construction of areas. Now, the difference between this and photometrics, once it's pulled in, is that you're not working with an image. You're working with actual vectored lines here. I'll zoom in so that you can see this. And when you zoom in, you see all the lines. And these lines can be jumped to, so I'll put it close to this point and hit J for jump and over here as well and let's try it one more time so you can jump around to the different points that you have and that's what you'll use to draw your areas and by doing it in this fashion you can draw far more precisely in fact you can draw to the exact same measurements that uh, the original DXF and DWG were created in and that's the advantage of the CAD module over, say, photometrics. I'll go ahead and zoom out. And now I'm going to turn on the zoom cursor. 
And also, unlike photometrics, you don't have to worry about setting the scale. Um, the set scale function in this menu is really there for an oops type of moment where you realize that after you've imported the sketch that you really wanted to bring it in as a different unit of measure or you chose the wrong one and now it's coming across wrong. This is where you can go to set scale, choose a line, set a new length which would then uh, set the scale for this drawing again so that you can draw more precisely or draw in the unit of measure that you intended to. So now that the zoom cursor is open it gives you a close-up view of where your cursor is and now it's time to define the area. I want to create a first floor. I want the first floor name so now I'm gonna place it close to this point here hit J for jump and press enter to put my pen down. Now I'm gonna move it close to this point over here jump to the point and place my line and dimension. Now I'll put it close to this point here, jump again, shows 1.5, put it close to this point over here, jump there, come down this corner, jump here, and you notice that all I'm doing now is really just tracing the line based off of the points that I can jump to. And in using this you can also use it to draw and trace say even the curve. And I'll show you that in just one second here when we get to that. So now I'm going to come over here to this other point. I'm going to jump to that point there and I'm going to roll my mouse wheel and notice that as I roll my mouse wheel the line is bowing and once I'm happy with my measurement all I have to do is press enter on it let's place this dimension out here then continue tracing and you continue on in this fashion all the way around the property that you have to construct the areas that you have. So I'll continue with the sketch and I'll be right back. Okay, I've completed the sketch but what I did is I really restarted it. I went back and I re-imported that DWG because I wanted to turn on some of the other layers. I wanted to turn on the doors, I wanted to turn on some of the appliances as well as the ceiling lines because I wanted to show you the amount of detail that you could actually add to a sketch without drawing them all in Apex again. And right now if I wanted to go print these lines on the inside of these areas would not print because they are construction lines. But that's where this line conversion comes into play. So if you have construction lines and you've brought them in this way and you want them to be freeform, then all you have to do is click on this function. And it changes them all to freeform lines. Now freeform lines will print and they will show up on images and at this point you don't have to create any more of the insides of this property to include the detail that you might want. Conversely speaking, if you wanted to remove all of these lines and you wanted them not to show up then you can go back to construction lines and you can go over here to toggle lines and when you click on that it removes them all from display so what you have here now is the ability to control how much detail is actually shown so there you have it the Apex CAD module is primarily designed to allow you to create sketches from existing data as you can see it can save you a lot of time and also provides you with the accuracy you need as well as complete control of the amount of detail you might want in the sketches you create. Thanks for watching.